Hi there guys, welcome to issue 62. So today we have got the Galvanic Servo Haulers, which are in this sprue, which we will make up in a minute. So let's take a look. In this issue, your Galvanic Servo Haulers roll in with this issue. They will make a characterful addition to your terrain collection. The worlds of Warhammer 40K are filled with events and details that don't happen on a battlefield, and your new models will help represent them. Imperial planets can be busy places with lots of industrial work goes where lots of industrial work goes on. Your server haulers hint that your battlefield was a place where imperial citizens worked. With that in mind, we'll have guys for you to follow that will have them looking worn and well used. You'll also use them as objectives in a new mission, happy hobbying. So, what are we going to find out today? The Crimson Fists, White Scar successors, uh, Vanguard veterans, learning about the Adepti's Custodies, Custodies Showcase, uh, how to build our Galvanic Servo Haulers, how to paint them. Then we've got Rules Terrain 11, Galv Galvanic Servo Haulers, rules for using your new Servo Haulers in games. And then Rules Mission 46, Hauler Heist. Ultramarines and Death Guard battled up, battle over industrial machines. Okay, so the Crimson Fist. Among the first of the Imperial Fist's successors, the Crimson Fists have a, his have a history marked by terrible disasters and horrifying losses. Despite their misfortune, these brave defenders of the Imperium continue to battle humanity's enemies with the righteous fury and stubborn will of their Primarch, Rogal Dawn. Okay. So we learn more about them. Then we look at the White Scars. The different ones, we've got Marauders, Storm Reapers, Storm Lords, and Dark Hunters. A few more, Solar Hawks, Rampagers, Mantis Warriors, and Destroyers. Next we've got the Vanguard, uh, Vanguard Veterans. To reach the chapter's first company is one of the greatest honors for a Space Marine. Veteran Space Marines who excel at close combat are formed into squads known as Vanguard Veterans. They are armed with the chapter's deadliest melee weapons, and often take to the battle with swift jump packs. And there you can see a bit of a Barney with a towel there. Okay. So, and a bit more about the Vanguard veterans there. Now we've got Adeptus, Adeptus Custodies. For 10 millennia, the Adeptus Custodies have stood guard over the Emperor and defended the gates of his palace. Now they have unsheathed their blades and walk with the stars in numbers not seen since the early days of the Great Crusade. Woe betide any who dare to oppose them. Okay, so more information. Then we've got their showcase, and they ride these cool, uh, some of them ride these cool little, um, they look a little bit like the motorbikes from Judge Dredd. Um, yeah. But they're cool, very nice. Bonus points for anyone who can tell me, who can remember what the motorbike from Judge Dredd was called. Was it Lawgiver, was that? No, Lawgiver was the gun. Yeah, let me know. Okay, then we've got more here. Uh, a shield captain is flanked by two custodian wardens, each armed with a guardi guardian spear and misericordia. Misericordia, I believe that word is. Uh, Vexilus Praetor. Another Praetor. Custodian Guard. Another Guard. Another Guard. Okay, so then we've got how to build our server haulers. How to paint them. Okay. Rules Terrain 11. The factories and loading bays of Corvon 2 are powered by all manner of automated machinery, including vehicles such as galvanic servo haulers. Here we explain the rules for these vehicles and show you where to place them on your playmat. So that's very cool. And it's got some examples of, of how they work with terrain, um, or sorry, how they work within the game. Then we've got a mission, the evacuation. Corn 2 is in the grip of a deadly war that has spread across the, in the entire planet's surface. The Ultramarines and their allies are doing their best to evacuate anyone still stranded on the besieged world. 
Streams of refugees and decimated planetary defence force regiments are heading for the new functioning spaceports in the remaining safe zones. Okay. Then we've got our mission, the Hauler Heist. Two galvanic servo haulers stand idle at the centre of an abandoned loading bay. The Space Marines move into the factory looking to reactivate the machines and use them to tear down the Death Guard barricades and defences. They are not alone for the Death Guard lie in wait. Okay, so the servo haulers are there and there. They are the objectives of the mission. To control an objective, you have to have more models within three inches. If a player controls a gal galvanic servo hauler at the start of their movement phase, they may move it six inches in any direction. So our armies are the Lord of Contagion, seven Plague Marines, ten Chaos Cultists and twelve Poxwalkers up against the Primaris Captain, five Intercessors, three Aggressors and five Scouts. Deployment is Death Guard right in the middle there. Um, Space Marine player may then deploy, deploy Scouts using the Concealed Positions ability and the rest of Space Marines move on to the battlefield at the far at the start of the first movement phase. Space Marine player takes the first turn. Victory conditions. First player to eliminate an enemy unit, one victory point. An enemy warlord slain is another victory point. Each objective controlled by the end of the game is a victory point. It lies for, lasts for five battle rounds. So that's cool. Now what have we got? So next week we've got the same sprue of pox walkers as we had very recently. The only difference is we've got some parts left over from a previous issue which will allow us to make up the alternative Plague Marine that we had. Uh, and then issue 64, we're bang on to Astro Granite, another refill, so we'll get more of that stuff. So that's it. So less exciting, something we've already had, something we've already had. Everyone moans about the paint issues. People don't like them. They think they're not good value for money and that kind of stuff. But anyway, we will be back with issue 63 in a couple of days' time. And then issue 64 the week after. Anyway, let's build up our galvanic servo haulers. Okay, let's take a look. So, galvanic servo haulers. There's our first one. So these are essentially just terrain they've got caterpillar tracks but they don't actually you they don't actually move um except for where it's clearly defined like the rules here are to move them six inches if you want to and there's the other one the other larger more impressive one so they are good i like them they are nice and if we follow this paint guide they're going to look well nice and worn up very soon so thanks very much for watching guys hope you enjoyed that that's issue 62 issue 63 up next week see you later just a quick note on that guys just to let you know that if you're watching this the day it comes out issue 63 won't be out next week it will be up later tonight thanks